The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doth good. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek God. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doth good, no, not one. Have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge, who eat up my people as they eat bread, and call not upon the Lord. There were they in great fear, for God is in the generation of the righteous. Ye have shamed the counsel of the poor, because the Lord is his refuge. O oh, that salvation of Israel were come out of Zion, when the Lord bringeth back the captivity of his people. Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Psalm 14, 1 through 7. October 3rd, 2023 was media day for the NBA, and on this day, number 22, for the Miami Heat, 34-year-old Jimmy Butler decided to show the world his emo side by wearing his hair straightened with piercings in his eyebrow and lips and his nails polished black. Last year you came out with the braids, man. What's what's this? I had dreads like, last year. Yeah, yeah, the dreads. What's this? Yeah, this is uh my emotional state. <laughs> I'm one with my emotions. My soul. My soul. My soul. The media constantly bombards us with images of so-called celebrities, artists, athletes, and entertainers engaging in what is meant to be shocking and outlandish behavior or foolishness. By now, I'm sure you recognize and understand that in every instance and occurrence, you are actually bearing witness to some sort of satanic magic ritual meant to exalt the devil and his antichrist. That being said, without further ado, let's get into it. October 3rd was the NBA's Media Day. The word media is a reference to mediums and magicians or practitioners of magic as it stems from the ancient Medes and the Magi of the Medo-Persian Empire. The Magi were magicians and sorcerers, so it's quite obvious from the outset that Jimmy Butler's ritual performance was purposefully orchestrated to occur on Media Day, a day for magicians and sorcerers to work their magic. October 3rd is 10-3, which gives us the number 13, the number of rebellion. October 3rd is also the 276th day of the year. Strong's Concordance lists H-276 as Ahuzeth, which means possession, and it was used to describe slaves in Leviticus 25, 35 through 46. In case you didn't know, demonic possession puts one in bondage as a slave to the demon that they are possessed by. This has been symbolized in the past by several different artists wearing straight jackets as a sign of bondage to a demonic, unclean spirit. In fact, in the video for the song, Out of My Mind, both Nicki Minaj and rapper B.O.B. appear in straight jackets. Remember, the name B.O.B. is a reference to the phrase Barack Obama 
as found in Luke 10 18 which describes Satan's fall as lightning from heaven. The connection of October 3rd to possession is meant as a reference to Jimmy Butler being possessed by the unclean spirit of a rebellious fallen angel. During the press conference, Butler declared, I'm emo, this is my emotional state, I am at one with my emotions, so this is what you get. What's this? Yeah, this is uh, my emotional state, I'm at one with my emotions. Notice the word Kaseya in the background behind Jimmy Butler. In Jainism, Kaseya or Kashaya means passions, and the four Kaseya are anger, greed, ego, and deceit. Emotions or passions are considered as the main cause of bondage in Jainism.